We're the Lockwoods, and we're travel. No. We're the Lockwoods, and we're travel. No, forget it. Who am I kidding? Nothing about this day has gone right so far. We are here in Hanoi, Vietnam, in the Sofitel Legend Hotel, and we were supposed to be going out on a family guided food tour today. Turns out today is the Tet holiday, which is Vietnamese New Year. They called us just a few days ago and said, we recommend you cancel because nothing's gonna be open anyway. And we said, that's all right, we'll just do it on our own. That was the plan, but then Colt got sick last night and he hasn't been able to get out of bed all day. So we've all been hanging out in our hotel room. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon now. We're really itching to get out, but someone's gotta stay here with Colt, so that's what Aaron's gonna do. I get to be nurse mom to Colt, poor thing, but I'm so jealous that these guys are going out and having some street food. I am starving just thinking about it, so you better get some good food and you better come back with some good stories. So Brooklyn and I are gonna go hit the road because she's feeling pretty good, right? Yeah. So this is gonna be a very unique episode because I'm gonna be filming pretty much the entire thing in selfie mode. That's unusual for us in terms of style. We're also going to have zero idea what we're doing. Luckily, we've gotten a few tips from some friends, our buddies over at the channel Mom Duty, a guy we met at the airport named Frank, Really good insights, but we still have no idea where we are, where to go, or what we're supposed to buy, or how any of this works. It's gonna be a big guessing game for us. So we're gonna leave Colt and Aaron right here in this pretty trashed hotel room while we go out and try to have a little bit of fun to salvage the situation. We're normally not this messy. We're pretty organized people, but not today. It's kind of a disaster. So Phil and Brooklyn need some encouragement. They can do this. Now go off, get out of here, have some fun. Bye, baby. Mwah. Got a kiss in the room here because in Vietnam, parts of it, kissing, round upon. It's probably for the best that Aaron can't go with us because there's a very good chance we would get arrested. Ah, bye, baby. Mm, have so much fun with daddy and try all the food. Have a really open mind, okay? Proud of you. Bye, buddy. Feel better. Daddy-daughter time. We are in the French Quarter of Hanoi. I know, right? French Quarter in Vietnam? It seems really strange, but it's because of the French occupation here more than a century ago. And it really is just as beautiful as the French Quarter in other places that we've been, like New Orleans. I don't know if I'd say it's as pretty as Paris. What do you think? Ah. I mentioned that our friends over at Mom Duty helped us out with suggestions for where to go today. It's just mind-blowing how much we have in common, how many similarities we have. But that doesn't tell the half of it. When they were out here just a couple of months ago to do their own food tour in Hanoi, they ran into the same problem, except that Nia got sick, so Rocio stayed behind at the hotel room with her while Nelvin went out with Knox to do the food tour. But little events like this can really wreak havoc on our travel plans, especially when we're trying to do episodes every place we go. That's where our travel insurance comes in very handy, situations like this and others that we've experienced even on this trip. Missed flights, illnesses, weather, whatever. Having our travel insurance policy really saves our butt a lot of times. It's such a big deal to us. We really preach it so much that we have a section of our website that explains more and allows other people to get quotes. If you want to check it out, you can go to followabc.com slash travel insurance. So we're walking out of the French Quarter right now and we're heading toward the Old Quarter. And that's where most of the authentic street foods in Hanoi are going to be. You can already smell the food and it looks good, but we're going to try to keep going so that we can get to the Old Quarter. It's only about a 10 minute walk, maybe a 15 minute walk, they said. We wanted to walk by this lake pond thing. And I think it's pronounced Kiem, but I'm going to butcher the Vietnamese language today. I'm sure we both will. There's a historic temple right in the middle of the pond. We're not gonna go over there, but you can see the tree-covered area. Daddy, can we do one of these? Oh, that one, right? Yeah, that one. Uh, just one? Just one. Oh? We're on a food tour. Oh. Just one, just one. Uh, two? Yeah. Uh, no, no, uh, That's okay. okay. White sugar, honey sugar, and no sugar. Yes. Do you call them donuts, or is there another name? Uh, bánh rán. Bánh rán? Bánh rán. Bánh rán. Thank you. Thank you. So I got one with honey sugar and two with white sugar. Let's see how they taste. I'm going to start with the honey sugar. That is crunchy. Very sweet. It's a hard shell on the outside, but on the inside, it's some gooey kind of donut texture. Are they warm or cold? They're warm. Try it. Oh, it's largely hollow too. I think there are beans in there. You want me to eat the rest of this one? Good. 
I think it's red beans inside, and then the honey flavor on the outside. Very good. Time for the white sugar. I can definitely taste the sugar around the outside, and yes, there is definitely some beans in here. I believe it's the same texture, but different taste. And different bean, right? Yeah, kind of like a white bean. I don't know beans. <laughs> I'll try that one, and you can eat the other one all by yourself. Oh my gosh, the bean's falling out. I'm ruining it. It's like a sweet fritter, but with a lot of air inside. It's a nice little snack. They had one other kind, the one with the uh, sesame seeds, and as Brooklyn said, those have no sugar, so those are just a savory one. Let's get going. Be sure to check out the Mom Duty channel if you haven't already, if you're not a subscriber, and then check out their Hanoi food tour. Their tour guide gave us a good piece of advice, which is you have to be very deliberate when you're crossing streets because nobody will stop for you. That's kind of harsh. <laughs> like you're in someone's way and you know what? No, we're not gonna stop. We're just gonna kill you. <laughs> I just saw a store there was a cheese a steak pizza. That's three of Brooklyn's favorite things. Cheese, steak, and pizza. Now it's our understanding that the old quarter is organized by trade or by dish. So each street kind of has a focus on one particular style of food or one particular dish. So a specific street for a specific treat. And we seem to be on the jewelry street right now. The first dish we're in search of is nem, fried spring roll. It's so cute! Oh, I love it! It's so cute! I think I have a good lead on where we should go for this one, but the address comes up as Pha Hong Bi Street, so that's a little confusing. Is this the Pha Street or is it the Nem Street? About to find out. There it is. Okay, this is clearly a restaurant, La Siesta. It's actually, I think, a hotel, so this is a hotel restaurant. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for street food, so strike one. Let's keep looking. You know, if it's too fancy for you, I suggest we can just go back to that dog. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Sick Bay. How's it going, Colt? Not good. Not good. This poor kid, we've never experienced anything like this before. This is the first time any of the kiddos or the parents has gotten sick on a trip. So we've had a lot of really good luck so far, but not today, huh? So I hope that Phil and Brooklyn are doing okay out there on the streets of Hanoi. I hope they're having a good time and eating lots of really good food. Back to the drawing board. We might have to ask a local. Brooklyn, go ask a local. All right, we just spoke to a nice little uh, hotel bellman, and he said that name, not name, name, is actually more of a breakfast dish here, and we're gonna have a hard time finding it right now. I said, should we just give up on that one? He said yes. So, we're gonna look for uh, some of the other things on the list. Let's see what's next. All right, here's what we're looking for. Boon Cha, Boon Dao, Mam Tam, Cafe Trum, and Cha Ka. So if you see any of those as we're walking, point them out, okay? We're definitely on Spa Street now. Another good piece of advice we got was to look for the places that are busy. Always a good rule of thumb, because that's how you know which places are good and which places are bad. This area seems to have a lot of cafes, which is where we'll have to go if you want to get the egg coffee that's on the list. Erin wanted us to bring one back for her, but everything is so spread out here, I don't know if we can make it back to this street easily or if that's going to be two kilometers out of our path on the way back. Coffee, stir, water. No offense to people that like coffee, it's just a joke. I've never had a cup of coffee in my life, and I'm not going to start today. So far we found zero things on our list. Let's go back to the dog. We really haven't. We're kind of striking out right now. I can see that all the busy places are the cafes, so I think we're just getting an early start. It's 4.20 here right now, so I don't think most people are having dinner yet. They're, they're just hanging out at cafes, so we're going to keep looking. We're going to find stuff. We're not going back to look at a dog. Okay, we found a place that's busy, and it's on our list. Boon Cha, which is pork and noodles. It can barely fit here. I feel like I'm at uh, Brooklyn's old school going in for a parent-teacher conference. Yes, thank you. We grabbed a seat, we sat down, he gave us a menu. That's soy milk. Bon appetit. Thank you. I'm gonna in chopsticks and gonna clean them. This is how you clean them. So you pour lemon lime on there. That was hot. It is very chewy and very delicious. I recommend that. I'm gonna make mine even hotter. 
with some of these peppers. There's also this chili sauce. I'm gonna try some of that. I'm gonna start with a piece of the crab. It's breaded, it's a, uh, it looks like it's a ring. So it's kind of like calamari, except it's not nearly that chewy because it's just crab. This time, let me get some of that spicy stuff on it. There we go. Mmm. Those are very spicy. You gotta be careful with that. And then this piece is pork. It's like a processed pork patty. Brooklyn's doing a really good job of holding the camera. As Aaron will attest, it's a very heavy camera. Brooklyn's not even complaining. That has some chewy parts in it. A lot of flavor. That's really good. That flavor is so good. So much pork flavor, it almost has a little bacon-iness to it. I think I might have got some jalapeno in there. Um, my tongue is burning. It's spicy. You may have gotten the chili paste that I put in there. That is extremely delicious. We definitely have to teach Brooklyn how to use chopsticks. Today's the day. Sweating a little bit, got it some kick. I'm really impressed that Brooklyn likes this one because she is not into spicy food at all, and I really kicked up the temp on this one. Trust me, like my tongue is burning, but something about this, I cannot stop eating. 10 out of 10, delicious. All right, we have a lot of ground cover tonight, so we're gonna head out and look for the next thing on the list. Okay, we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're hiring one of these guys to take us to the next place. This is a lesson we learned when we were in Cebu City and we were looking all over for the real street foods and had a really hard time. And then we found our buddy June who was a taxi driver and he took us around and found everything we could ever want. So we're giving it a try again, see if we have just as good a luck. Okay, all right, he's gonna wait for us while we come over here and try to find some name. Brooklyn, what are you most excited to try tonight? So far, I have loved the rice noodles. I am excited to try the yum, the rum, the yum, the ba. <laughs> I tasted the rice noodles and I fell in love. I loved it. So we also got some rice noodles here. I'm gonna dip it in here. And this is the bun cha that we were looking for before. I think this one's the real deal, so we had to get this one also. And then the elusive nem which are the deep fried spring rolls. I'm gonna start with one of the nem. Oh, that is good. That's a good spring roll. Honestly, I expected something that was gonna be just filled with cabbage like most spring rolls that are fried and crispy. This is full of meat. <laughs> that is phenomenal. A very thin, crispy shell on the outside. So much flavor and all the fattiness from the pork inside. And to drink, I got a sugar cane juice. So they just take the sugar cane, raw, smash it, pulverize it into a juice. I've never had this. Since sugar cane is used to make sugar, you'd think that it would taste just like sugar, but it has a little bit of a, a lime or a lemon kind of flavor to it, but certainly very sweet, but refreshing too. Not too sweet, it's very good. Try this, Brooklyn. I see what you mean there. It's very sweet. A little bit of sour. Perfect. You like it? Now it's time to try the pork and the boon chop. They're sort of like meatballs. Smashed a little bit, irregularly shaped, but that's what they that's what they look like. I feel like that's pretty much what it is. It tastes like it's ground pork. And there's so much barbecue flavor because they just cooked it up on the barbecue over here. It's wood burning barbecue. It tastes just like bacon. There's some other pieces in here that don't look as meatball-y at all. Ooh, they are more like bacon. That is bacon. Look at that. Okay, my chopstick skills are not perfect. Delicious. Actually bacon. Full on bacon. Our driver's still waiting for us on the corner, so we're gonna cash out here and get back on the road. Okay, we have bid adieu to our cycle driver, and we have two other things that we would like to get tonight. One for Aaron, and one for Brooklyn. That's right, the super authentic, very Vietnamese cotton candy. For our last stop of the night, I'm getting Aaron an egg coffee. This is coffee made with eggs and it's a Hanoian treat. I would try it myself, but you know, I don't drink coffee, so we're gonna take it back for her and hopefully it's as good as everybody says it is. It's kind of hard to order here because I don't speak Vietnamese and a lot of people here don't speak English. I heard that some of the older generations are less likely to know English and the younger generations are more likely and that's exactly what we experienced because everything was lost in translation until they came outside and found a table of 
younger folks who were like, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're asking for. I hate that I said younger folks, that really makes me sound old. Con trẻ con nó đi chơi hết à? Có bố uh, bàn đây nó thanh toán ba cốc còn có bố mới là có con. Này con trẻ Tastes like whipped frosting. <laughs> It's so good. Like like buttercream. Let's get back to the hotel as quickly as we can so that it's nice and piping hot for Aaron. Mom, this is coming to you. Mom, we made you coffee with eggs. You brought me egg coffee? I've heard about this and I wanted to try it so badly. Thank you. Wow, I really don't know what to expect with this. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy, but I love, love coffee and I also love eggs. It smells like coffee, it maybe smells a little creamier. I'm gonna stir it up a bit. <gasps> It's so thick and foamy, whoa. It's like a custard. It tastes like a custard. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Brooklyn, try a bite. It tastes oh, she amazing. Already had a lot. She did, so yeah. she liked it. The coffee's on the bottom, uh -huh. and then she puts the custard on top. So do I mix it or just yeah, drink it? You want to mix it. Okay. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna mix it. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Thanks for thinking of me. I didn't want to get left out of all the fun. Colty, how are you doing, buddy? A bit worse. I don't know if he's worse. He's actually been doing better. He just woke up after a, a long nap and that always helps your body heal. I'll try his coffee. I'm gonna give it a try first and then he can have some. I can't get any coffee. <laughs> It's all foam. Wow, okay. Maybe stir it again. Mm. Oh yeah, that's warm coffee. I'm gonna let Colt have a sip without the straw so he gets more of the custard on top. I don't get any egg. It's probably for the best. Nobody else in this family needs to pick up a coffee habit. Well, that tour was not as successful as it would have been if I had the entire family, as if we had a guide, as if it wasn't the Tet holiday, so we actually had every place open for business, but I sure did enjoy spending a little quality daddy-daughter time with Brooklyn and seeing the city. Hanoi is beautiful, and we've got some cool Vietnamese stuff planned for tomorrow too, so hope you'll come along for that one. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Please. We're the Lockwoods. Aaron, Phil, Reagan, Brooklyn, and Cole. We're traveling the world to experience, up close and in person, all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. We think it's a better way to learn, and we're working hard to fund this little experiment in the hope that our kids will grow up wiser, kinder, and more grateful for the beauty of our diverse planet and its people. 